But essentially what, when you talk about soil pH, is that you've got a scale. And at one end you've got really acidic soil, and at the other you've got alkaline. The low level, so one, really acidic, to 14, being really alkaline. And ideally when you're growing vegetables, you want to be in the pocket, which is between six and seven. So seven's neutral and six is slightly acidic. So that's where you want to be when growing vegetables. Because at that point, all the nutrients are available for the plant to take up. So in the case where you've got really acidic soil, what it does is it tends to lock up some of your main nutrients. So things like nitrogen no longer become available. And at the other end of the scale where you've got really alkaline um, soil, a lot of the, the trace elements such as magnesium and iron get locked up. So they might be in the soil, but because it's really alkaline, the plant can, can't attain it. And that's why quite often you'll get stunted growth and the plant will be quite yellow and not doing anything. So ideally, what we're wanting to do is get really back into that pocket. Now, how you do that will depend on where you're at. So if you've got really acidic soil, it's really easy to then raise the pH. So if you've got acidic soil, say four or five, you add lime, okay, and you can purchase lime, so garden lime, which is calcium carbonate, or you can get uh, dolomite lime. You can also do it naturally by adding poultry manure. So you can add some chicken poo, um, and that will help to also raise the pH level. In the case where you've got alkaline soil, you'll want to add compost and manure to try and alter and bring down reading. I do find though, uh, with alkaline soil, it does take a lot more work. You could add iron chelates, and in really severe cases, you would add sulfur. But if you've got really high alkaline soil, it can take a long time to adjust it. I recommend as well, if you are purchasing soil from an external source, such as your local sand and soil center, please check the pH level and get it checked before purchasing it. What happens quite often during the composting process, what happens is it tends to become really acidic. And then when they're batching a large amount of compost, what they do is then they'll throw in some lime to try and adjust it. And all too often they throw in too much lime which then makes it really alkaline. So be cautious with the stuff that you're purchasing. As a general rule, it's easier to raise the pH than to bring it back down. I'm hoping that little gives you an insight about soil. Again, if there's any questions or anything that you think that I need to cover off, I'll leave a comment below and I'll get back to you.